Welcome, everyone, to Swagbox Live, the pirate edition. Before we start the game, which be in just about two minutes, let's take a look around at who be here and do some shout-outs as pirates have throughout history. Hazel Cornelius is here. Hello to Hanson in College Station, Texas. Arr. And to Wa1889, who says, Ahoy, me mateys! Hey, that's my line. Welcome aboard to Charlie Bates Sums in Tennessee, J. Call in Las Vegas, and Beagle Mom 4 says Chips Ahoy, which is a pirate's favorite cookie. Oh, get it? Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum to you, Beatrix 309. And Courtney from Houston, Texas is here playing for the very first time. So welcome to you. Don't worry, it's real easy, okay? It's gonna be real simple. It's all be multiple choice questions. You'll tap the answer ye think is correct to lock it in. But also before that, hello to Nathy B123, all the way over in Bolton, England, yes, the birthplace of many a pirate. And to Joe8550, asking if anyone's done this before. Yes, I have, I have, many people have. And I just explained how it works. I'm going to explain a little bit more about it. But first, let me go get my prisoner from down beneath the ship. Hey, everybody. Don't worry, I'm safe. I'm fine here on this pirate ship. Everything is working. The pirates, turns out they're really good at IT. So everything is functioning over here. That's a good thing. We're excited. I'm glad to have you here. International Talk Like a Pirate Day. It feels weird. We've never done this before. Yet here we are doing our first ever pirate-themed pirate game. Shout out to our design team who did a fantastic job putting together this image. And it just screams pirate uh, with a screaming pirate on it. You can't get any better than that. So let's just say yo ho ho what a bottle of trivia. Welcome to this pirate themed edition of Swag Bucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. In honor of International Talk Like a Pirate Day, we've got this special game for you with a very special grand prize. That's right, that's $2,500. And if you can correctly answer all 10 of our multiple choice pirate themed questions, you will win a share of the plunder. In this game, that's not all you get. You'll also earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. Now, if you get eliminated from grand prize contention, you'll need to claim your bonus SB at the end of the game in order to keep them. That is really simple, though. A button's going to appear on the screen asking you to claim them. You click it, and then they are yours. So what I'm saying is don't leave early. No matter what, stick around. Of course, if you are a grand prize winner today, we will take the bonus SB you earned throughout the game and roll it into your share of that $2,500 grand prize. Claimed automatically. No button needs to be clicked. Also, I just want to point out, if you're looking for more SB outside of what you win from today's game, click the More Ways to Earn button in the main menu at any time, and you'll be taken to an exclusive offer wall with opportunities to earn SB towards your daily goal. It's always there, and it's worth checking out after the game. In fact, it will appear for you after the game as well. And any time a game's not happening, come and earn money from the exclusive offer wall we have. Also, just for our newcomers, Joe8550, and Courtney in Houston, Texas. The first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin, give yourself another shot at that grand prize. You can do that using SB. It's generally one SB to rejoin, or you can use a free rejoin if you don't have any. You can click get more rejoins in the main menu of this app and just watch a video to get a rejoin. It's as simple as that. All right, the comments are walking the plank. Get on with you. So this game can set sail right now with question number one. Here it is. What pirate was the sworn enemy of Peter Pan? Was it Captain Hook, Admiral Claw, or Lieutenant Spike? Looking for the sworn enemy of Peter Pan. He fears nothing except for the clock-tummied crocodile that took his hand and is looking to finish the job. Smee, hurry and help Captain Hook get away, please! 97% of you getting it right, saying you're a crook, Captain Hook. Judge, you must throw the book. That's right, Captain Hook is the answer. And I love, I just, TikTok the Crocodile is my personal favorite Disney character. Love his music, love his little googly eyes. I love him going... <laughs> When he rises out of the water, just uh, that's like a classic Disney character. I'll ride 
the Peter Pan ride at Disneyland just to see the crocodile, and it's like seeing a celebrity for me. All right, 97% of you getting that one right. Everybody who is out pretty much has rejoined in some of our stragglers. We have over 33,600 people in grand prize contention, over 34,000 of you playing the game, and the good news is now on, no matter what, every time you get a question right, you will earn a bonus SB. So let's move on to question number two, worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here it is. What song is playing throughout Disneyland's Pirates of the Caribbean attraction? Is it Where Be the Gold, Bring Me Another Rum, or Yo-Ho, A Pirate's Life for Me? What song? We were just talking about the Disney parks. You hear the theme song in different meters and keys at different parts of the ride, and you even get Jack Sparrow himself singing Yo-Ho, Yo-Ho, A Pirate's Life for Me at the conclusion. That's right. 89% of you getting that one right. Yo-Ho, Yo-Ho, A Pirate's Life for Me. Eleven percent of you were eliminated on that one, but your ship is not sunk yet because you can rejoin, and pretty much everybody who got eliminated is doing that. Love to see it, bringing us back close to thirty-two thousand people. In fact, over thirty-two thousand people in grand prize contention. Well done. Let's move on to question number three. It is worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here it is. A pirate for, would call for your attention using what phrase? Would it be shiver me timbers, avast ye, or blimey? Which one would they use to get your attention? They're asking you to do something. They want your attention. While it literally translates to asking someone to stop or cease an activity, for a pirate, that means getting the attention of your crew by getting them to stop their work with an avast ye. Avast is what we were looking for. 60% of you getting that one right. Well done. Shiver me timbers, which 32% of you went with, is more of like a declaration. Well, shiver me timbers. That's not really about getting attention. It's just a declaration of, well, well wouldn't you know? Can you believe it? And blimey, of course, is they're frustrated with something. They're blimey. But if they say avast ye, they want you to stop, pay attention. Pay attention to your captain, please. Of the 40% of you were eliminated, sorry to see that happen. Already three quarters of you coming right back in. We do like to see that. And remember, if you just got eliminated, you can still earn bonus SP and then claim them at the end to keep them. If you leave right now, you'll get nothing, and nobody wants that for you. All right, let us move on. Oh, no, we have a bunch of people rejoining. I'm going to give us just a second for people to rejoin. A lot of It's interesting how pirates speak has sort of made its way. Like, we still sort of use it. We're all kind of aware of it, even though it hasn't been around for such a long time. I suppose you could credit Disney for that and and all of the pirate sort of cartoons and characters and comic books and stuff like that that exist. All right, let's move on to question number four right now. It is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Which of the following is a pirate insult? Is it Davy Jones's Locker, Hardee's, or Bilge Rat? Davy Jones's Locker, Hardee's, or Bilge Rat? Which of those is an insult, a pirate insult? There is something to the detailed and almost flowery language of pirates. Terms like rapscallion, scabby sea bass, and bilge rat were all insults. Those are the rats that hung out at the bottom of the boat. Yep, bilge rat. 89% of you getting that one right. Well done. That means only 11% of you were eliminated. Don't like to see anybody eliminated, but I'm glad when it's a smaller number. You can rejoin if you haven't done so already. Looks about like, like about half of you had not yet rejoined and are doing so now. And so I say we move on to question number five. It is worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here it is. Pirates are known for wearing what apparatus over one eye? Is it a patch, night vision goggles, or a monocle? When you think of a pirate... A lot of them are wearing this over one of their eyes. We're going to talk about why in a second. Believe it or not, it wasn't to cover a lost eye, but actually to keep one eye ready for darker lighting so that they could easily see below decks. That is the reason why they wore those eye patches. Eye patch is the answer. Pretty much everybody getting it right. That's right. They would go underneath and they would switch the eye patch to the other side and they would have an eye ready for dark. Of course, when they went back up, they'd have to start the cycle all over again. But... That is why they didn't have to adjust their vision when they went down underneath. Pretty clever, right? We like that. Let's move on to question number six. We're halfway done with this game. This is worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here's Q6. What term is given to the lookout at the top of a mast? Is it the falcon's nest, the crow's nest, or the pigeon's nest? What be the name for that lookout at the top of the mast? 
It was a lonely and dangerous job to perch at the very top of the ship and keep an eye out for the dangers of the sea. But somebody had to be up in that crow's nest. Crow's nest is the answer. 92% of you getting that one right. Well done. Only 8% of you eliminated like you're doing well. You know you're pirates. And if you don't know, that's okay. You can still earn bonus SP. Remember, do not leave. Stick around. We are going to move on right now to question number seven. It is worth one bonus SP to get it right. Here it is. In pirate talk, what does cackle fruit translate to? Is it cannonballs, watermelon, or hen's eggs? Cackle fruit. Go get me the cackle fruit. What could they be talking about? Those pirates, they had a turn of phrase for everything. And this term comes from the cackling done by the source of the food. We're talking about hen's eggs, of course. That's the cackle fruit. 75% of you getting that one right. Well done. That was the most difficult question that I had. Like the toughest one I came in going, this could get some people. And yet 75% of you get it right. Love to see that. Over half of the people who got it wrong coming back in. Love to see that too. Most people sticking around to earn more bonus SB. Really love to see that. So let's get another bonus SB in front of your face right now. If you can correctly answer question number eight. Here it is. The Pirates Who Don't Do Anything is a movie in what series? Is it Pirates of the Caribbean, Veggie Tales, or Star Trek? The Pirates Who Don't Do Anything. What, what movie series is that? Not all pirates are bloodthirsty thieves and marauders. Some of them are just anthropomorphic produce from a family-friendly film series. It's the Veggie Tales, of course. Veggie Tales is the answer. 90% of you getting that one right. Well done. Only two questions remaining in this game. Who is going to take home a piece of that $2,500 grand prize? Who will be going to dig up my buried treasure? We're about to find out because we are moving on to our second to last question. It is worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here is question number nine. What word refers to a pirate's treasure? Is it booty, cutlass, or sea dog? What word would a pirate use to refer to the treasure? The term refers specifically to items taken during war, and in pirate terms, it also refers to items taken from the land that could fit in a boot. That's why it was called booty. Yes, booty is the answer. Shake, 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 shake your booty. 19,742 of you have made it this far. You are ready for our final question. But before we get to that final question, the Garnier Fructis Pure Clean family is the freshest clean for everyone. Free from nasties like parabens and heavy silicones, it is infused with aloe extract, a super ingredient to moisturize and soften hair without the weigh down. All that, and it can earn USB. Here's how. Add Garnier Fructis Pure Clean Hair Reset to your list in Magic Receipts. Then buy one Garnier Fructis Pure Clean, Pure Clean Hair Reset product in-store at Walmart or online at walmart.com for delivery or pickup. And you'll earn 200 SB when you upload a photo of your receipt as proof of purchase. If you buy two, which, you know, you always want to have a little extra, right? On the same receipt, you will earn 600 SB. Now, you have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this opportunity, but please check it out after the game. I bet you have to make a Walmart run sometime soon. Have this on your list of Magic Receipts. Pick some up. Try it. It's going to be great for you, and you're going to earn SB when you upload a photo of your receipt as proof of purchase. Come on. It doesn't get any better than that. All right. We have 19,801 people who are sailing towards our $2,500 grand prize. Over 33,400 of you still in the game in total. One more bonus SB up for grabs right now if you can correctly answer question number 10. Here it is. What is the common nickname of the famous skull and crossbones flag often flown by pirates? Is it the Happy Peter, the Joyful Grant, or the Jolly Roger? What is the name of that flag? There's no quicker way to communicate to an oncoming vessel that you're a pirate ship than by flying the skull and crossbones of the Jolly Roger. Jolly Roger is the answer. 19,507 of you knew that answer, and you are splitting our grand prize. Congratulations. Avast ye, hear me now. We have 19,507 winners, each taking over 13 SB in grand prize money, plus the bonus SB you picked up along the way. Blue Rubio 559, you are a winner. Congratulations to you. Red Dog, you are a winner. Ho, ho, ho. Congratulations. Camilla Sisk, you are a winner. And Mitchellers, you are a winner as well. Congratulations, though, to all 
of our grand prize winners. Congratulations to those of you who came up short when it came to the grand prize, but earned bonus SP and claimed them just now. You have more SP in your account at this moment than you did when the game started, and that makes you, that's right, a winner in my book. And now that you have all these new SP in your account, you know what to do with them when the time is right for you. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Thank you for playing along and winning, everyone. You are, as always, all winners in my book. We'll see you tomorrow for another round. This has been Swagbucks Live, and I'm setting sail. Arr!